name is Adelson Oliveira and I will present this video for dnnhere.com and this video will show you how to set up a web banner advertising program in .NET Nook. Now, why would you uh, have to set up a web uh, banner advertising program? And here, here's the objective. Uh, maybe your, your site has a lot of traffic and maybe you want to monetize on some of that traffic by showing in your site some some banner advertising from other companies so other companies uh you you may you want to approach other companies related to your niche and offer them uh placement in your banner space for their ads and they would pay you for that so again if you're considered a uh, web banner advertising program this video will show you how to do that how to set it up in dot that nook so here is our test site. This is a .NET 542, and the, we have some uh, sample content here in the middle. Uh, let's log into the website as host. Okay, so we are logging as host. The first thing that we have to do is we have to create vendors for. Uh, Basically, each company that uh, you make an arrangement to show banners on your site from them, you have to set them up as vendors. So we can set uh, set we can set up vendors uh, on a host level, under host vendors, or under admin level, in a portal level under admin vendors. So let's set them up uh, in admin level. So let's click again admin vendors. And then we're going to create four fictitious companies here. We're just going to call them company A, company B, company C, company D. Uh, again, it's like uh, you would have an agreement with four different companies. Um, and here is the way you're going to set up the vendors, which will be each one of those companies. So go to the action menu, click add new vendor. And you can put the details of the company. So I'm just going to call it company a and this is the contact information from the person that company i'll call it john smith and this is his email address com and again just fictitious names here i don't need to uh fill out all the address details if i want i can but i'll skip for i'll skip uh for the sake of our speed up our video so again uh basic information at the top vendors details at the bottom, I can put the website. Uh, let's say this is uh, the first company here, and I will be creating. I'll just hit update. It will give me an error because uh, again, this is my local host, so there's no emails uh, going out. So it's just saying that uh, there's a problem sending emails. That's fine. That's correct because again, there's no SMTP here set up. Uh, now this is the first uh, company. I'll just speed up a little bit, and I'll go I'm going to go ahead and create all four companies: company A, B, C, and D. Okay, so I'm just finished to create the last company, the last vendor. So I'm going to click update, and if I go back to admin vendors you're going to be able to see all the four different companies. So we have set up four different companies, again, just examples. And now for each one of those, we will uh, set up uh, the banners that uh, belong to each one of those. So to set up the banners, we go to each one of them. So you just click the edit button right beside the company name, the vendor name. So let's start with company A. And then once we are in the details of that company, we can scroll down and there is an error that says banner advertising. This is where we're going to focus the attention of this video. So we're going to expand this area. And at this point, there's no, there are no banners here added yet. So I'm going to just click add new banner for the company A. So here is how we're going to set up our first banner. Banner name is basically uh, the alternating text uh, in case the browser doesn't display the image. Um, and for company A, let's say that this is company 
um, add. Just put it like this. Okay, uh, this is the banner type. So for the banner type, we're gonna first of all uh, create skyscraper. Sorry, we're gonna create a uh, banner uh, types of banners. So let's just keep the first one selected. I'm I'm going to cover the other ones uh, later on down the the road here. So let's keep it on on banner banner group. Uh, this will basically aggregate all the different uh, banner ads that are common that would be uh, rotating in that particular spot. So let's say, um, just for the for the sake of our example, let's call this uh, group top banner. I'm gonna keep this saved so we can reuse that to aggregate multiple uh, banners that should be displayed in the same spot. So let's keep it like this. Now, under the image uh, question, under the, under the image option, we will upload the image that will be displayed in that spot. And in this case here, we're creating a, a, a top banner for the top of the page. So uh, let's click upload new file. And then let's go browse. Problem. So browse, select the folder, and here I have separated, I have put aside a couple of different uh, types of banners. So let's let's select the first one here, the 728 uh, by 90 banner. So here's the company A banner. Let's click OK. Uh, now, a quick, quick note, an important note. Very important that you standardize the sizes, the dimensions of the banners that you offer on your site. Uh, and you can see a list of the different uh, standards. Uh, and I'll publish this link here in the, in the video page. So you see here, in, under Wikipedia, you can see uh, the different uh, standard size. Well, this is an attempt to standardize. So you, can, you should follow one of those uh, standard sizes. So again, by following those standards, you will be able to uh, easily communicate what size of, of the banner that uh, your uh, vendor should provide you. So I'll publish this uh, link in the, in the video post as well. So let's go back to the page. Okay, so now we have to upload selected file. So the file will be uploaded to the site. And now we have to put the weight and height of that file. Well, in the description you can see that it's 728 by 90. So this is what I'm specifying here. Text, you don't need to care about that because we're talking about um, image banners, not text banners. So I'm not going to cover that. Actually, the idea of this video is not to be exhaustive in terms of all the different options for the banners. It's actually to show how you can set them up. So basically, the file is there, and actually it's a flash file. So if you scroll down, now we have to specify what is the uh, URL that this this image, or in this case, this flash, should point to. So I'm going to just put it here. Let's say that this will point to www.company a.com that's again just for the sake of our example this is the end of part one of the video on how to set up a web banner advertising program in .NET Nook